At 71, Vicki Thompson didn't expect her life to be in her car. I guess they might want to call me the bag lady or something like that. But after Hurricane Ida, damaged she and her husband's home, if they're in the car, they're at the doctor's. That's just his medical report of just since April, right here. In one of her bags, a folder full of medical visits. She and her husband's health taking a hit because of the stress of being homeless. Really hectic because you never know what tomorrow is gonna bring and all of this stress is just bringing on other physical conditions. No one knows better what the Thompsons are going through more than Sheila Ivory, who offered her friends a bedroom to stay in until they can squeeze money out of insurance or FEMA. My insurance company was one of the ones that went out of business. So while she also waits for a settlement, her roof is covered in a blue tarp that's leaking. But like her friends, She's also at the hospital more these days than at home. In the last, say, two months maybe, I've gone to the hospital 18 times, and I think it's just the stress of not knowing day to day. Is today going to be the day I get to repair my home? It's stressful. It's depressing. When you get up there in age, it's hard to recover. Neighbor Will Edwards has a for sale sign up and plans to be gone the next two weeks. I'm moving back to Pennsylvania. I bought some land in an ex-flood zone. I'll shovel snow before I go through a flood again and lose everything that I worked so hard for in my life in one night. With construction material prices spiking over the last year, he's run out of money to finish his repairs. No furniture, no kitchen. Um, it's been tough. The water Hurricane Ida storm surge brought into the neighborhood is long gone, but at nearly every house you can still see signs of the struggle. From FEMA trailers and driveways, blue tarps on roofs, construction debris in front yards, and back seats full. You know, just ask uh, the Lord to to uh, bless you with endurance, you know, and to take care of you through all of these things. A year of enduring a storm that didn't end for the people living in its aftermath. In Laplace, Louisiana, I'm Jonathan Petramala for Weather Nation.